Hey guys, we're live and wow, I've got too much lighting going on. Um, let's see, I'm not going to bother trying to fix that because I want to get you the content and um, just go with it. So I'm going to be talking to you today about apps for your iPhone that will help your business. Maybe if I go like this? No. No, it still doesn't work. Okay, whatever. I'm going to go with it. My name is Janelle Summers and I'm a Beachbody coach. I'm a Superstar Diamond 3 and I've been coaching for almost almost eight years, so seven something, uh, seven years and, and more. And um, I'm a mom, we have one son, and my husband and I have been married for, I said I would confirm this and I did. It's been 21 years going on 22 years in August, which is crazy. Crazy, crazy. So I wanted to talk to you today about best iPhone apps. And so I really apologize if you don't have an iPhone and you're using an Android or something else. There are tons of people that are probably going to comment on this later. This is actually being recorded, so you can check the comments later and ask some of those people who have Androids and who have made really good use of their Android or other type of smartphones and know the best apps to use for those phones. But um, I really love some of these apps that I've come to use a lot with my business and I feel so fortunate that in my business I can work m I can work my business almost entirely just from my phone, which is so incredibly convenient. So if Matt and I during the day want to take a trip to the cottage or whatever, I can do that. I don't have to pack paperwork or my laptop or anything. I mean, I can you know, on the drive, return a couple emails and maybe do a couple posts and everything I need to do is right there on my phone. So it's super convenient. So, hey, Carolyn, I see you on there and Kara, awesome. So, okay, so my very first and favorite app that I use all the time on my phone is PS Express. PS Express. So I made a little, hopefully you can see that. Let's see, is it whiting it out? PS Express. Okay, so that stands for Photoshop Express, um, but I think you type in PS Express in your um, app store. And the reason I love PS Express so much is because, well, for one, one of the reasons I use it the most is to brighten photos. Now, like I said, this video is too bright. The light, it's so dark in this room, and so I've got a super bright light on me, and so that's why it's too bright. But other times when you are doing pictures, selfies or whatever, or even pictures of your food and you just don't have any natural sunlight coming in and the room is just a little bit too dark, use PS Express. So you just load the photo into PS Express and I wish I could show you, but at the bottom, at the bottom you're going to see one of the features is like these little lines and when you click on the little lines and you scroll over you'll see an option for exposure. And so once you click on exposure, you lift the exposure on the photo and all of a sudden it becomes this bright photo. Yes, it's PS Express in the App Store. Yes, it's Photoshop Express, Kristen. That's exactly it. And so I use that to brighten my photos all the time. So, um, for example, when we went on the girls trip, um, snowmobiling my sister and all of her friends for her birthday trip and we had taken this awesome, we, we spent all this time Put it, you know, climbing on each other to do this like pyramid that we did, you know, in our snowsuits, and it was just this awesome bomb photo. And we looked at it, we're like, oh my gosh, that's so dumb. Like you couldn't see, you couldn't even, it just looked like a black blob. I mean, it was just, it ended up being way too dark. And so um, I was like, oh gosh, no problem. So I pulled it into PS Express and I brightened it. And all of a sudden, all of our, you could see our faces even underneath our helmets. And I, and I also clicked on the sharpness and I increased the sharpness of it. And I increased the clarity of it. And I took away the shadows. And all of a sudden, it was like we had had a professional photographer there taking that picture. It went from a photo where we were all like, eh, I guess can't use that one and we we're going to delete it to this awesome photo. And I'm kind of bragging because I was so proud that I was able to make that photo like look good. But it's all because of PS Express. I use PS Express on so many of my photos to brighten them and to, especially on food, I post about food a lot. And so what I do is I increase the clarity and the sharpness on the food um, just so you can see it better. So you can actually see it the way that I see it. So PS Express, that's my first tip. I love that one. Secondly, when you're adding words on a photo, I love word swag. So I wrote this out for you. Let's see, can you see that? Is it, it's backwards for you, huh? Word swag, S-W-A-G, word swag. And so word swag, I'm sure most of you already know this, right? 
but word swag puts words in like especially if you have a great quote it's great for a quote and it per puts word and in, words into like a nice format that just looks really professional you can put the words onto a blank white black backdrop or you can put them on a black backdrop or you can put them on a flowered backdrop or paisley or one of your photos putting font on your photos so you have so many different options with word swag and you even have the option with word swag to actually click on different quotes that they have built within word swag so if you're just feeling really uncreative and you're like i just i just really want something to inspire me and so you're looking for a good quote you can actually find great quotes right within word swag and it'll automatically populate them onto your photo or onto your backdrop that you choose. So it's really, really cool. But sometimes you have a photo where the photo is kind of busy and you've got like this much space to put your phrase or whatever. And so you're like, word swag isn't working. Like you need, you need to scrunch the words a little bit more so that it doesn't overlap with the plant and your face or whatever. So then you need an app called Font Candy Plus. Now again, you guys, these are iPhone apps. I'm not positive if they come on Android or some of the other smartphones. I apologize for that, but I tried to put that in the heading of this recording that these are iPhone. So that's Font, Font Candy Plus. I don't know if you can read backwards, but Font Candy Plus, it's not the free one, okay? Not the free one. I accidentally on my new iPhone, I, I downloaded Font Candy, the free one, and I was like, okay, I went from loving this app to hating the app. I did not like the free one. I was not able to do with the free one what I'm able to do with, with the one that you pay for. So with Font Candy, the reason I love it so much is because um, sometimes you need to squish your letters, right? And sometimes you need more spacing in between the lines or sometimes you need to squish the lines um, sometimes you want them centered and font candy lets you do all that kind of stuff yes Lydia I love font candy too font candy plus that is um, oh it's only backwards to me thank you Jessica I'm so glad because I was like okay that didn't work out so well okay so next I want to give you the one that I use when I don't know if you guys notice if any if any of you even follow me but uh, most of my pictures I put JanelleSummers.com and that's my blog and that's also for my coaches for my team I have a whole training website on that on that site um, but it's also my blog and so I put that on every picture and so I use an app called a plus signature see again not the free one a plus signature. A plus signature helps me, oops, helps me put on JanelleSummers.com, but it's already saved in there. So A plus signature, A plus signature, by the way, you can use for just using, putting regular font on your photos. You can use it for that purpose too. But the reason I use it like daily is because on every photo that I post, I pull it into that real quick. It's super quick. And you click on this little filing cabinet and within my filing cabinet, I've saved JanelleSummers.com. So I just click the filing cabinet and it pops it right onto my photo and I just real quick make it smaller or bigger or make it a different color if I want, but it's super quick and then just save it. So instead of me every time having to go JanelleSummers.com, I mean, I would probably misspell it all the time. Yes, I misspell my own name all the time. So A plus signature, not the free one. Okay, I'm so glad this is super helpful. Thank you, Jessica. Um, okay. Next, let's talk about videos. So videos, especially if you are a Beachbody coach like myself, you wanna be doing videos, whether it be videos like this or workout videos or whatever. And so the one that I absolutely love on my phone is iMovie. iMovie allows you to very easily cut up your videos so that you're not um, showing your viewers that moment when you were like struggling with your phone and 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 um, you know in between your sets or whatever where you're adjusting your weights you get to cut up the video so that you're showing your viewers exactly the little bits of whatever it is that you want to show them and you can speed it up or you can slow it down so it has those very cool features of speeding it up or slowing it down you can even add music on iMovie but I don't like to add my music on iMovie only because it doesn't allow you to add it from a certain starting and ending point. It just lets you start from the very beginning of, okay, sorry, my broadcast uh, paused. Anyways, um, 
So iMovie does allow you to add music. I don't use it to add my music though because it doesn't allow you to grab just a certain section of the song. So I don't use it for that, but you could. iMovie also allows you to add text onto your video. So you could have text on your video where, um, you know, maybe it says JanelleSummers.com or whatever right on the actual video. So that is super cool as well. So iMovie, in case you didn't catch that, Yes, so, and I've used iMovie on my laptop for, for years actually, and oh my gosh, it is so much more difficult on your laptop. Like, compared to on my phone, there's, there's no difference. I mean, I mean, not no difference. There's no comparison. It takes me like two seconds to put together a video on my, on my iPhone, whereas I used to spend hours editing videos on my laptop. Um, so, oh, thanks, Tiffany. Tiffany says, don't forget to subscribe so that you know when I'm on next. Thank you, Tiffany. Yes, please subscribe. So iMovie is awesome. So once I've cut up my videos and I've sped, sped them up or slowed them down or whatever I want to do, then I save it to my camera roll and I bring that video into Pick, Play, Post. Is iMovie free? I don't think it is. I don't think iMovie is free. Pick, Play, Post. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. I'm, I'm trying not to be that shy girl anymore. Thank you, Louise. Pick, play, post. So pick, play, post. Uh, I love pick, play, post for many reasons, but you can um, add your music in pick, play, post. And that's why I like it the most, actually, is because I can add songs that I've already bought from iTunes and downloaded into my, um, in my phone and um, add them and pick play post. Now here's the thing, I know a lot of people who've had trouble um, at, you know, with their songs on pick play post on their videos. So use royalty, royalty free music for that. I'll be honest, I have never had a problem posting any of my videos using the songs that I have downloaded to my phone that I bought on um, iTunes. I've never had a problem. So I don't know. I'm not doing anything different, but I've never had a problem with it. So anyways, I like pick, play, post. Pick, play, post you can do as a collage of different videos. You can have one video play first, then the next one, then the next one, or you can have them all playing at once. Or you can do, a lot of people ask me about when I have a, a label. They're like, what app are you using when you have a label on your video? It's still pick, play, post, you guys. All it is that I'm doing is I'm choosing the layout the frame layout that has two rectangles, one on top of the other in pick, play, post. And then I make the top frame really big. That's where my video is going to go. And then when I double click on the bottom frame, instead of choosing a video, I choose a picture for that bottom spot. And it's a picture I've already created of the label that says triceps or biceps or whatever. So I create that. Tiffany, I, I never, uh, Tiffany, I've never gone to Facebook jail over that. I don't, I don't, everyone asks me all the time, why, why don't I go to Facebook jail? I never have, I never have any problem and I post those videos like daily or sometimes twice a day. So I don't know what the deal is, but maybe I'm just risking it. Gosh, I love using the music that I use on my videos, I have to say. But yes, I did, I did recommend to everyone else, don't, don't risk it, use that royalty, royalty free music, even though I'm risking it. Anyway, so um, pick, play, post, you have lots of different options and you can do that label by choosing a picture. So you could create your picture using word swag on like a cool background that says triceps or biceps or um, plyo or pio or whatever. And then that is your label and that's using pick, play, post. Next, and I'm almost done you guys. These are just a few um, apps for your computer, your laptop, your desktop. Okay, I just wanna go through a few of these just as kind of bonus information. If you need to schedule posts within your Facebook groups, which that's what a lot of us coaches um, do to just save time. We've already created the content, schedule the post, and then we go in there live and we're engaging and answering questions and all that kind of stuff. But the actual post itself each day might be scheduled, especially if you work full time. I use Postcron for that. Can you read that? Postcron.com. Postcron.com. Yes, so I use that to schedule my posts. I like it better than Hootsuite for Facebook groups. Um, that's just a personal opinion. There is a little glitch going on right now with scheduling posts within Facebook groups where it's only showing the picture. You have to click on the picture in order to see the caption. Both Hootsuite and Postcron are working through this glitch right now and hopefully they'll get it figured out soon, but that is going on right now. Still love Postcron. 
Trello is a tool, trello.com, I should have put .com, but Trello is a tool to help you organize different projects. So trello.com is really cool when you have a lot going on and you want to just organize, pros uh, you can organize prospects or customers or projects or anything. Trello is super cool. Canva.com, and this is my last one. Canva.com, got it? Canva. Canva is for, um, gosh, so many different things. You can create graphics that are specific, um, a, a nice uh, format for, or template for Pinterest, you know, a good Pinterest size. You can use um, templates that are good for Facebook banners. Like it specifically says, you know, this is for a Facebook banner or this is for a YouTube banner. Um, so they give you these templates that you can use and you can pick your own background, maybe a background that you've picked from Pinterest or something, um, or you can choose one of their backgrounds. I mean, there's so many different options. Yes, Jessica's like, I love Canva. So many different things that you can do with Canva. You just kind of have to play around with it. Um, there are some people that are really, really good with Canva. I'm not that great, but, um, it, it is a lot of fun. It's really cool. Yeah, Tiffany's like, Canva is the best. And by the way, you guys, I'm doing this live video because of Tiffany. Follow Tiffany Lee Bymaster. She's also Coach Glitter, aka Coach Glitter. Um, she's Coach Glitter on Facebook, so if you type that in your search, or on Instagram, Coach Glitter. Follow Coach Glitter. She is your fairy gloss mother, and so much more. So I think that's it, you guys. So again, um, this is all recorded, so let me know if you have any questions. Please comment below. If you feel like it was helpful, please share it. And um, again, my blog is JanelleSummers.com. I'm gonna be talking the rest of this week on some different topics, like becoming an instructor, about not gaining weight when you travel, um, about becoming a personal trainer, about shoes, um, about, I don't know, whatever other topics you guys suggest, okay? Thank you so much. I'm going to go spend time with the family, and uh, I appreciate you being here. Have a great night. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.